Creativity is an addiction. I'm aware of it. And I'm sure you are. Just nobody has ever come up to you and said, hey, look, you know, uh, you're one of the most creative people I've ever met in my life. How are you handling that addiction to bringing things forward? You're awake at night. You're awake all day. People demanding your creativity. You don't feel great about it because other people are making a boatload of money because of your creativity. And there you are driving the same old car while other people are making money off your creativity. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Dun, 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 dun. There you are. I'm glad you found this place. I'm glad I found this place too because there you are. <laughs> I mean, it's fun. It's, it's energizing. It's, it's always a mystery, but at the same time, it's always refreshing to see that you're there. Right there. And I'm so grateful for you being there. It means so much to the path of growing forward and outward. Man, I wish I could locate the miles that once came with time when a single hour felt like a lifetime. I mean, as of late, come on now, be honest. A week is nothing more than a single breath. Therefore, what is the definition of a year? I remember when I was a kid, I I would remember measuring the amount of time required just to make it to graduation day. And once there, it's as if life and time are a broken water pipe. There are no valves to help slow the flow. When I do connect with these days of less expectation, what I do is I surround myself with absolutely no music. There's no television set on, and I am nowhere near social media. And the reason why is because I am respectful of the presence of this thing called nothingness. And even then, time comes with no rules, and it comes with no miles. Instantly, the moment is turned into an event that was once lived, to which I'm very grateful for, but there are no complaints. As a daily writer, all I have is ink. My nothingness are words on a page. Whew, there you are. You're right there. I'm so grateful for you being right there. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I live in the presence of now. It has been a journey. It it has been torture on the soul. It has been living in the moment of what is and what wasn't. And, and the thing is, is that if you live in your past, you're just going to rewrite it. You know you are. It's, 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 it's human nature to do that. And if you try to live in your future, you're not going to get what you want. And, and then you're going to you're going to bring doubt and shame on yourself because, well, I tried, but I gave up too early. Or did I? Did I give it too much? See, why not just live in the now? This is The Daily Mess. The awareness of being. Oh my God, I love saying that. The awareness of being. It empowers the mind, body, and soul. It's like you're preparing your heart for, this is myself in the awareness of being. Sometimes it's a mystery, unless caught up in a net, which was generated by the space of an ego meeting confidence. Did you hear the ego when I said that? The awareness of being. There's some ego in there. There's also some confidence. A longtime friend wrote to me the other day about my availability to speak openly about the ego. See, he took the word as being a negative, whereas I see ego as being the unique presence of your inner ability and showing of the performance. In all things, the ego has got to be present in order to find the required steps of human growth. Holy cow. Don't you wish dictionary.com would create a definition like that? It took this guy's questioning of me and my ego to put this on a page. He took it as a negative, whereas I believe the ego, I'm going to say it again, is being the unique presence of your inner ability and showing of performance. In all things, the ego must be present in order to find the required steps of human growth. You have to have it. It can get a little out of control, but you got to have it because it feeds confidence and confidence feeds the ego. You've got to have it. You've got to be proud. I think one of the greatest quotes I ever, ever came across was from Gene Simmons of Kiss. If you don't think it's bigger than life, then nobody else will. What? Yeah. If you don't believe it's bigger than life, nobody else will. So what, what is the definition of ego in dictionary.com? Here's what they say. A person's sense of self-esteem 
and or self-importance. Now, I can see why my friend who wrote to me the other day kind of took ego as a negative. Because that does say, ooh, it's all about me. It's not. No, no. That, that's not how I take the word ego. The unique presence of your inner ability and showing of performance. In all things, the ego must be present in order to find the required steps of human growth. The awareness of being present and what to do with what you are holding. We've become this generation that doesn't know how to stop holding. We don't let things move through us. Through the awareness of being, you begin to think, do I really need to be holding on to this? Do I really need to have this? I mean, even during the pandemic, we found newer ways to feed and fill the ego, which labeled each and every one of us, well, we must be empty. We're empty. But that's when I learned that being empty, I felt pretty full. Not of myself, but of gratefulness, awareness, mindfulness. Our greatest struggle today is locating the room to make more. But what are you making? Is there any mindfulness anywhere in your plan? Gratefulness? Any gratitude? What are you making? Because I I stand back and watch a lot because I'm a silent wolf. I'm the one that will sit there and study the habits of the human as you walk by. I don't even have to know you and I'm going to study you. Maybe it's the martial artist coming out in me. I can see you several feet away and can almost predict exactly where you're going to walk by me and how you're going to be walking. It's just awareness. The awareness of being. Knowing where you are in the presence of now. Now, before you arrive on the scene, I I don't know your past. You don't know mine. So why do we want to live there? Now, I could be, and I'm probably going to be wrong by the way you move by me. But I still have that one moment where my mind is saying, this is what's going to happen. That's the awareness of being. That's the martial artist that is moving through me at all times. That's being aware and being mindful of where we are. Yes, it's a struggle to live in the presence of now. Yes, it is a struggle to be a daily writer. But for some reason, it's happened for me and I'm I'm blessed by it. 27 years this has been happening on a page. But I've said this before. You would think 27 years of daily writing would be this gigantic library of words. If you were to come into the studio, you would not even know that there's 27 years of daily writing right here at one time. Now, people have asked me, why do you keep your writing with you inside your studio? Because it's energy. It's a source. It's, it's that place where you can go and feel. It's, it's just beautiful when it comes to presence. Being in the presence of now. But they're words from the past. I didn't say I read the journals. It's energy that is still alive. It's energy that helps people grow. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.